Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how you can convert raw picture files like these. These are CR2 images from a Canon Rebel camera. But I'm going to show you pretty much how you can convert any files, like here's a TIFF file into a different file format using Photoshop. I already have Photoshop open. So you go to File, then you go to Scripts and Image Processor. And right here, you're going to select the folder where you have um, the files you want to be converted. And you can also include subfolders. So let me go to where I need to go. Okay. Now we're going to select the folder where we want the new files to go. Okay. Now you could change some settings here. Right now I have selected save as JPEG. And you could also resize the files if you want. You could convert the profile. But for this video, what I'm going to do is basically just select the default options and just show you how quickly it will convert the files. Now before I start, let me just show you how many files I do have. Deselect the folders, okay, and properties. So I have 1.27 gigabytes in 55 files, okay. All right, you know what? I could just, well, let me get rid of that 1.27 gigabytes. All right, let me go back to Photoshop and I'll click run. So now Photoshop is going through all those files and it's going to convert every single one of them. And here is where I'm going to increase the speed of the video so you don't have to see every single file being done. Okay, so it has finished converting. So I created another folder called JPEG. If we go in there. And I did notice that one photo it did mess up on, which is this picture. Let me just find it over here. And I noticed that happens sometimes with, uh, it happened before with a few image files. I'm not sure why, but anyways, it did mess up on one. And let me just highlight all the pictures, properties. So we have 55 files and 65 meg. So that is a huge difference. And you know, that's just with the default options. So here's that, here's this. So that is the difference. It's a huge difference. Obviously a raw file has a lot more information in it. You could do a lot of editing with it. You could do a lot of color correction. You know, you could change the exposure settings. You have a lot more stuff you could do with a raw file. That's why you, you know, you could enable your camera to take pictures in raw and JPEG or just RAW or just JPEG. I like to do both um, because it gives me the option of sharing the file right away with a JPEG. And if I do need to correct something, like if the white balance is off or whatever, I could go into the RAW file, use Photoshop and correct those things. But, so you saw how long it took. I mean, it was 55 files. They are fairly big. I mean, let me see, this file is 22 meg so let me just put the details over here 
So, you know, they're all above 20 megs. They're almost 30 meg files. Um, and it converted them pretty quickly. And you can check the quality. And the quality looks pretty darn good. And I didn't mess with the quality settings. So if there's, you know, like this picture of the house, it looks definitely washed out. So it looks like the colors are not fully accurate. Hi guys, the reason I thought some of my photos looked a little washed out is because the Adobe Camera Raw software opened the photo with a different color preset. Now this happened because I never set a preset for my Canon CR2 raw image files. So any CR2 image looks washed out in Photoshop when compared to the Windows Photos Viewer app. Once you open a raw image file, you can calibrate the colors to match the Windows Photos app and you will never have to deal with the incorrect color profiles between your raw images when opened in Photoshop and how the images look in the native Windows Photos viewer. If I created the preset and then ran the image processor, the resulting images would look exactly the same as they do on the Photos viewer. Now I'm going to make a video on that process, so stay tuned. By the way, I'm working on a solution to reduce indoor allergies and hopefully I'll have a video about it soon. I mean, if you could tell in this video or some of my other videos, sometimes I sound stuffed up and nasally and that's because I'm allergic to cats and probably dust. So I'm working on uh, doing some research and I ordered some stuff and hopefully I'll have some good news for all you other allergy sufferers like me. And uh, like I said, I'll post a video about that as soon as I have any kind of news worth sharing with you guys. So thanks for watching. Let me know how you feel about this video using the thumbs up and thumbs down buttons and by posting a comment. And I'll see you on the next one.